YouTube, Shukun Shobi here with a review of the Kamen Rider Gaim DX Genesis Driver and Melon Energy Lock Seed. Uh, also, you could say it's the DX Genesis Driver since that's how it's pronounced in Japanese. I'm just going to go with Genesis because that's obviously the word they're going for. Um, but either way, whatever works for you. Front of the box, Zangetsu Shin, Melon Energy Lock Seed. Coolness. Back of the box. Everything I'm about to show you. So let's get it open and take a look. And here we have the Genesis Driver, which uses the energy lock seeds to transform you into uh, energy rider. As some people call them. Genesis Driver or rider is another term that people are using. But I just prefer dick because they're all dicks. But anywho. Uh, so here we have uh, the driver. I'm going to keep the belt uh, loop thingy on it, the belt itself, uh, because unfortunately this one does not uh, sit up right like the Sengoku driver does. So it kind of needs the um, the belt clip here to, to hold itself up, but it does match the Genesis driver really well, and I actually kind of like how the belt looks for once. So pretty cool. Now this is styled after a juicer of sorts. You got a cool brass knuckle effect going on here. You close it. And you get that really obnoxious noise. Now there's a gearbox in there uh, that basically makes it go really slow. And that will slowly raise this up to make the juice filling effect. Uh, now, the video that goes up right after this will be a modding video to show you how to take out the gearbox. Um, unfortunately, that does make the slow rise fill of the juice go away. Um, but you get to hear the juice filling noise, which is usually masked by the gear noise. So it's a little bit of a trade-off, but that's completely up to you. Uh, the red plastic use is really nice. I love the bendy straw gimmicks going on here. Not gimmicks, but uh, design cues going on here. So all in all, it's, uh, it's a pretty neat little driver. Quick focus on the Melon Energy Lock Seed ELS-4. Uh, the Energy Lock Seeds all have this nice blue clearness to them, and it, it's a nice uh, differentiation between the normal Lock Seeds. So I really do dig that. They all also have this uh, spring right there. That little button right there will lock the spring. And they all pop open like that, which is uh, just like this, except quite a bit more fancy, and use uh, uses a button that uh, actually is uh, very, very, very well thought out and uh, definitely prepared in advance. Does fold open for Sengoku driver action, which I will demonstrate soon. And of course, there are uh, a few sounds, so flipping on, and it does keep the bendy straw thing, and I really, really dig that. So button right back there. Energy standby, energy shutdown. System start. And connecting. So no invest game noises because these are the uh, ones used by Udressel themselves. So obviously no game noises because they're not used for the game. So you get a cool little tune when you turn on the lock seed, or activate the lock seed rather. And then when you turn on the actual Genesis driver, I should probably show that first because it's helpful. Uh, switch is right down here. Genesis driver, because that's how they're saying Genesis in good old Japan. Uh, you can say either or, I'm just going to stick with Genesis because that's English to me. Really dig that. Now, of course, there are two attacks for the energy lock seeds. We got Skosh.
and sparking. So no Ole for the energy lock seeds, at least in this form. So pretty cool. You do get a nice multicolor LED down there. And it's actually got a number of different uh, things to it. So if we fold that up. Okay, so how this works is there is these three little notches here. And on each of the uh, lock seeds, the energy ones, you have this little box here that basically covers up certain sections of these based upon how big uh, the box is. So here is the two boxes, and as you can see, they are slightly different. Uh, so basically, you have all these different combinations that will unlock different LED colors in this, as well as different sounds. So we're going to take a good old a US Ranger key here. So if we do the first one, we get the lemons color. The second one, is Peach's uh, purple color. It's supposed to be pink, but uh, they did as best they could. The third one, Melon's orange color. The first two, you'll get a multiple colors with a very happy soda. So some form of upgrade, I would imagine. The last two. Cherry. Gonna get a little bit crafty here and do the first and the third. You get a green one. For something. Who knows? And then if we cover all three, we get a clearish kind of white light, and that is for any of the normal lock seeds. And just to show that off, Obviously, it doesn't fold down automatically. The first part of the noise is muffled by the juice filling noise and the gear noise at the same time. So the uh, original Loxies just really don't function well here. So now let's go a little bit in reverse and go ahead and show off the energy Loxies and the Sengoku driver. So everything works, it sounds great, you can still do the attacks. So everything works great. So while the uh, older lock seeds don't really work too well in the Genesis driver, the energy lock seeds work great in the Sengoku driver. Now what happens is that the button down here actually is just a little tiny uh, little tab popping up. And that will hit that big button, which is what actually activates the spring. When the knife comes down, it hits that and activates the spring directly. So that is really cool that they still fully implemented the opening gimmick uh, when using it with the Sengoku driver. So very, very awesome on, uh, on their part for that. Now let's go ahead and take a quick look at the energy lock seats in the Muso Saber. So 
So the timing isn't perfect, but it does work. You just hear melon energy. Uh, there's no charge or power. And you just hear a simple melon energy after that. So not the best, but it does function, so props to that. Now finally, there's one more really cool thing uh, that is a cross compatibility with the Genesis driver and the Sengoku driver. Press the button up on top here and the Genesis core will pop right out. And then you can move this to the side because we don't need it anymore. So this is the simple little core um, that is eventually given to Gaim. And uh, it basically connects to the Sengoku driver right at the faceplate area. And uh, nothing unique happens in terms of sound because it functions as a Japanese faceplate. So Gaim, Sangetsu, Kurokage, they would all use that uh, Japanese sound, uh, meaning none of these little tabbies get, uh, get hit. But what is interesting is that little tab, or that little uh, cylinder button kind of thingy right there, uh, raises and that actually hits this little white button which will in turn hit everything else so it's a big kind of uh, me mechanism that just keeps hitting one thing after another to eventually make everything work and that is really cool so if you slide that right on uh, let's go ahead and use melon and melon because that seems fun the only form so far used in the show for this combination is orange and lemon to make Kamen Rider Gaim Jinba lemon arms. Um, but we're not using the lemon lock seed in this review because that's for the Sonic Arrow review. So let's uh, make some melon melon combos going on. So pretty cool, it actually turns this into something completely different. It still opens up thanks to that mechanism I just showed, which is definitely a plus there. Um, but it basically activates this mix sound, and then it'll keep dinging while this one does its thing. And then it'll change to Jinba, whatever it is, in this case Melon, and uh, activate a completely new form. It'll make a nice little Frenchman laugh and laugh at your face because it's not afraid of you. And uh, it's really actually cool. Uh, and it this does activate a full delay in these too. There's still a, uh, a nice little mix here. Pardon the pun. But I'll show that in a second. Uh, now this does cycle through the same sort of attacks. So as I was saying earlier, there is an Ole in here, just not in the traditional sh traditional shents. Yep, uh, it's always the Jinba that gets the Ole. So lots of cool formation attacks, and uh, like I did mention before. It does activate a delay in everything. So if I take orange and want to combine it with melon, it does actually kind of work. Now there was a sound right before it started the orange arms chant. I didn't quite catch it, so if anyone knows what it is, please leave a comment below. 
Um, but it, it could be some other form of mix. Now, obviously, this doesn't open automatically because it's purely based on this uh, friction spring right here. So it's not going to flip open automatically. But it's still a feature that uh, causes the delay in here. It's all programmed. So they had all this thought out so well in advance. Uh, and it, it, uh, it really adds a whole lot of uh, dynamic to these. Overall, the Genesis driver is a must-have for any Kamen Rider Gaim fan. Not only is it well worth the price in general, just on its fun factor alone, the level of play that it adds to your Lockseed collection is well worth any price to pay. So not only do you get the fun of the Genesis driver itself, you get the DX Energy Lock Seeds, which are a ton better than the Candy and Capsule Toy releases, since those ones don't let you uh, harness the ability of the mixing uh, when the Genesis Core is attached to the Sengoku driver, which in and itself is basically the uh, highlight of this toy in general. While it's a great driver on its own, the ability to pop out that center, attach it to your original Sengoku driver, and make all of these mix and match combinations either between the old lock seeds or to create the Jimba forms with an original lock seed and an energy lock seed, you have a whole lot going for you in uh, this rather, I can't say tiny package because the Genesis driver is actually kind of big, but uh, in a, in a well-priced for a rider belt package. So all in all, definitely definitely worth it for any common Rider game fan. I really like it and uh, the level of play that it adds to your Lockseed collection is just outstanding. Thanks for watching, take care, and have a great one. Bye.